Whilst near-death experiences change lives, they've also given some individuals extraordinary experiences that they would never have dreamt of. The most intriguing examples are of blind people becoming sighted for the first time. Vicky Naratuk had been blind from birth. I've never seen anything, no light, no shadows, no nothing. A lot of people ask if I see black. No, I do not see black. I do not see anything at all. And in my dreams, I don't see any visual impressions. It's just taste, touch, sound, and smell, but no visual impressions of anything. In her early 20s, Vicky was involved in a serious car accident. The next thing I recall, I was in Harborview Medical Center and looking down at everything that was happening. And it was frightening because I'm not accustomed to see things visually because I'd never had before. And initially it was pretty scary. And then I finally recognized my wedding ring and my hair. And I thought, is this my body down there? And am I dead or what? We can't bring her back in the crash boat. They kept saying, we can't bring her back, we can't bring her back. And they were trying to frantically work on this thing that I discovered was my body. And I felt very detached from it. And sort of, so what? And I was thinking, you know, what, what are these people getting so upset about? Then I thought, I'm out of here. I can't get these people to listen to me. And as soon as I thought that, I went up through the ceiling as if it were nothing. And it was wonderful to be out there and be free, not worry about bumping into anything. <laughs> and I knew where I was going. And I heard this sound of wind chimes. It was the most incredible sound that I could describe. It was from the very lowest to the very highest tones. As I was approaching this area, there were trees and there were birds and quite a few people, but they were all like made out of light. And I could see and it was incredible, really beautiful. And I was overwhelmed by that experience because I couldn't really imagine what light was like. It's still a very emotional thing when I talk about this because um, there was a point at which I, I, I could bring forth any knowledge I wanted to have and it was like this place was where all knowledge was and then I was sent back and then I went back into my body and it was excruciatingly painful and very heavy and I, I remember feeling very sick Vicky's case suggests that her mind was working at a time when her brain was unable to supply her with such visual information, even if she could see.